guys, today I want to tell you about a few things that helped me survive a long haul flight. First off, I should note that all of the long haul flights I've been on in the past like four years, I've been traveling alone. So when I'm on a shorter flight, which is usually on a smaller plane, I like to sit by the window. And when I'm on a bigger plane that has a block of seats down the middle, I like to sit in the aisle of that block. Because that way I figure that only one person has to get out from beside you and you can get up and walk around whenever you want. I just don't like disturbing people and I feel a bit claustrophobic if I have to ask someone to move so that I can get up out of my seat. As I'm sure you all know, airport security is really annoying these days because they don't let you take a bottle of water through the security gates. But what I do is carry an empty one and then I fill it up once I'm through security and into the departure lounge. Or if there's not a drinking tap there, I ask the air hostess to fill it up for me on the plane. It's really important to drink lots of water on a long haul flight because you'll get really dehydrated and your skin will dry out and the more water you drink, the better you'll feel when you finish your journey. Along with an empty water bottle, I always have a change of clothes in my carry-on. Most of the long haul flights I've done recently have been from New Zealand to Europe and that's about 24 hours, if not more, of travelling on several different flights so I like to carry a change of clothes so that I can change midway through and freshen up a bit and just feel a bit more normal, like I'm not spending a whole day in a metal thing flying through the sky with strangers. And speaking of changing clothes, I have been known to actually change into pyjama pants on a flight. I'm talking literally get up out of my seat on the plane, go into the bathroom and put my pyjama pants on. I just feel more comfortable that way and I think it kind of helps me sleep as well. So if you want to do it as well then I say go ahead and don't even worry about what other passengers might think of you. Another thing to make sure you take with you on a long haul flight is hand sanitizer. I know it sounds really nerdy but just think about how many different people have sat in your seat and touched the armrests or the controllers and bleh. Put some hand sanitizer on and there'll be less chance of you getting sick. Another thing I always bring is my own headphones. I just really hate the ones they give you on the plane. I find them really uncomfortable and that they sort of don't sit very well on my ears and dig in a bit. And also, obviously because they're not noise cancelling, you're going to hear all the movies you're going to watch on this long flight much better if you have your own headphones. I've got one of these little adapter things because some planes split out the left and right channels, so you're going to need one of these if you want to hear the sound through both ears. They only cost like a dollar or so from a technology store, so pick one up just in case the plane you're on doesn't have a single socket. Lastly, I'm kind of a nerd who loves airports and loves planes, so I just try and make the most of the trip. So I watch lots of movies and try and enjoy the meals because I'm a weirdo who actually kind of likes plain food. And I'll always take the drink or the ice cream or the fruit that the cabin crew are offering when they walk by. Because I figure I've paid for this trip so I want to make the most of it. I'm heading off on a long haul flight in two weeks time so if you've been travelling yourself and have any other tips you could possibly share with me to make the journey a bit better then please leave them in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to more of my travel series which I'm sure is going to get pretty exciting once I actually start travelling. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when I post new videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys! on the aisle of that row. And when I'm on a bigger plane that has a lot of, ugh. Shut up, fridge. As much as you can. Ugh, I can't say that word.